In this section, we're going to show how to set up Mental Ray Satellite. First, we want to go to our C drive, Program Folders, Autodesk, and make sure that Mental Ray Satellite is installed. Then we're going to go to our Documents folder. Under the Maya folder, the version we're using, 2014, Preferences, and make sure that we have a Maya Ray Hosts file. This should have the computer name or the IP addresses of the computers you're using, and then a colon and the port, which is 7414 for Maya 2014. The way to make a text document is go to New, Text Document, and then go up to View, and make sure that you have your file extension turned on. Then click twice on the file name and change the dot .text to dot .rayhosts. That's how you create a rayhosts file. You can disregard the warning. The next thing we want to go to is the Services tab in the Task Manager and make sure that our Mental Ray satellite is loaded. As you can see here, the 3DS Max satellite is loaded but not the Mental Ray for Maya satellite. If we look under C Drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, and etc. Then we'll find the Services file. This is also a text file. At the very bottom, you should find the Services entry for both the 3DS Max and the RaySat plugin. It also gives you the port number. If you right click in the Services tab and say Open Services, you can see that Mental Ray Satellite for Maya is in fact installed, although it does not show up in the Task Manager. Also ensure that it is running. Go down to your Network tab and make sure that your network nodes are actually turned on. Properly network. Now if you go into the Maya, as you can see I've already loaded my file. We want to go onto the Rendering tab and then under the Render drop-down menu, go to Render Current Frame and press the square box which will open the menu. I have my threads manually entered and it will also calculate your memory limit. As you can see, I've turned off rendering on my local machine. I'm only rendering on my network machines. When we press render, we see that a few distinct errors show up right away. First of all, Windows is not recognizing my ArraySat as a service, although it does continue to render. It also says that it cannot add the last two render nodes, although it is rendering. Since this is a very small scene, it barely even registers on the CPU of the render node. It's usually a sign that your render is taking place when you see your CPU jump up to 100% usage. To get rid of these error messages, we're going to have to enter some extra files. The first thing we want to do is go back to our Documents folder under Maya, 
the version we're using 2014 and open up our Maya environmental file. As you can see, it's blank. You want to enter MI Ray Service equals MI Ray Sat 2014 into the Maya environmental file and press save. Double checking to make sure that it was in fact saved. Now if we try our render again, you can see that the first error is gone and now Windows recognizes RaceAct as a valid service. It also does in fact render. By going back to the Documents menu, the Maya folder, 2014 folder, Preferences, and opening up our Maya Ray Hosts folder, we're going to delete the last two nodes because Mental Ray for Maya only uses five machines total, including the one that you're rendering from. Hopefully someday someone will write a hack that'll allow you to use more, but for now, we're going to be limited to just four machines. After deleting the last two machines, you can see that we now have no more warnings and that in fact our render is still rendering properly.